hello friends welcome to my channel go digit today in this video i will not explain any uh, business central topic but uh, we will talk about the new certification exam which microsoft have introduced for the business central developers so here as you can see from my screen that uh, now uh, from the past 3 4 years as we know that the certification from the business central perspective was only limited to the functional consultants there was no developer certification was available through which we can uh, learn and test our uh, development capabilities but now uh, microsoft have uh, released a new certification exam called exam md820 this is for the developers you can see this uh, new uh, like this you can see this word beta uh, is being added here in the certification exam so it does not mean that this certification exam is not valid if you if you appear for this or if you clear this it's not like that we will learn about like why they have added beta but uh, if you go down here uh, first of all you can see that the passing score uh, for ex ex this exam is 700 which is quite normal with the other exams as well for the business center but now uh, the, the major point which you can see that why they have added the beta word is that beta exams are not scored immediately because we are gathering data on the quality of the questions and the exam okay so we can learn more about from this link as well about the beta certification exam so basically uh, because this is newly introduced so they are still collecting the data they are still verifying everything uh, from the quality perspective so that's why uh, they have uh, named it as beta okay and if you go through this link they are talking about some discounting uh, uh, discounting process as well that people who appear for this exam asap for this beta exam they will get not only the current discount but also after appearing you will get a 25 percent of discount which you can uh, which you can uh, use for your uh, next appear in in any of the exam right and from the score perspective they they have mentioned here that uh, basically uh, it's not like that they will uh, uh, although as you can see here that pass the beta exam earn a certification passing a beta exam in the certification path counts towards your certification you don't need to retake the exam in its final version which means once uh, they will release it uh, without beta like the complete final version you don't have to retake it again but of course uh, like uh, it has some every certification comes with a validity so once this validity is done you have to reappear again for this exam okay it is a beta exam so there is currently they have not added any any uh, preparation material with which is attached to this uh, certification okay but of course uh, they have shared one section so we will uh, i will share with you that but let's uh, let's see the exam uh, cost as well so here you can see that if uh, you belong to the us state then uh, then you can see that the exam cost is about 165 us dollar and based on like which country you belongs to you can see uh, select that and check your uh, rate there so for example if i select india it is currently 4800 indian national rupee which is uh, again i would say a quite a common uh, certification cost which we uh, use for uh, which we which you can see that from uh, mb800 case as well right so this is uh, about uh, the cost part now see the other section called skill measure okay so here they have uh, described the sections uh, of the certification and uh, the first section is called describe business central which will uh, have about uh, constitutes about 10 to 15 percent of the total questions then we have install develop deploy for business central which again 10 to 15 percent now comes the major part these two sections are the major uh, sections okay so developed by using al objects which will be 35 to 40 percent the major section and then again the second major section is developed by using al okay so it is about 15 to 20 percent 
okay then work with development tools and then integration with business central uh, integration of business central with other applications okay so we will see uh, like uh, in order to appear for this exam in order to clear this exam we have to be make sure that we understand all these sections and the subsections of it okay we will see uh, from here as well i will show you this link from where we can see uh, about the details of these sections okay now as i said it's a beta exam and as they have mentioned here as well that currently uh, they have not added any preparation material uh, to this uh, certification okay so i will share in my description section as well the links of all these uh, where from you can see that uh, what ways uh, and what are the topics we should start prepare preparation for that so that we can appear for this okay so now let's see the study guide uh, section study guide link which they have uh, added now for this exam MD 800 okay so now if you come down here here they have uh, defined the sections which we have just seen and now they are also describing that what exactly you can expect what type of questions you can expect against each section so if you see the describe business center section have business center architecture based topics business central apps based topics okay then uh, we have install develop deploy which have 10 to 15 percent then again uh, you can see this section okay and subsections of it that what type of questions you can expect from these uh, topics now let's come to the major uh, section which is developed by using AL object it has 35 to 40 percent which is saying that you have to understand about extending tables and the pages like row center pages different types of page types how to extend the page objects build and extend tables enums then extending of reports reports of document type report layout multi-language in the report how to implement the multi-language in report by data model then XML port then code units okay then permission set objects queries okay in the queries as well like use query to create a report apply filters use queries instead of record variables right the, the variables the record variables which we use in our code units to uh, let's say filter out certain records and then bring the data into the repeat and so that is also very good but uh, from the performance perspective if we use query to do the same operations it will be much faster right and then develop by using AL which is also the second major section here also you can see that what type of questions you can expect like uh, they have mentioned customize the UI experience implementing onboarding techniques right like uh, onboarding techniques means that uh, when you open the business center you will see some sections when like a checklist sections that do still step one do the step two also uh, we have assisted setup uh, section there from which we when we click on it navigate page type opens up and then uh, we have to uh, system only guide us like how to do how to set up your app to start working on it so they're talking about that thing that you can expect questions from those sections as well then uh, essential development standards uh, and if you can see document standards implement master data standards and the design patterns how to uh, use AL to extend the business center like differentiate data types custom procedures okay work with variables how to handle errors access modifiers to limit access so you can see this complete uh, link uh, I will share in the description section and understand about the various uh, topics which uh, which will constitute the total number of questions in the exam okay it has the telemetry sections as well so a major uh, like most of the topics which they have introduced we have already uh, made a video out of it and I will try to make some videos which uh, which we have not done yet like the telemetry thing okay and the other topics as well uh, I will try to uh, make the video out of it so that we can together learn and together earn the certification as well okay now uh, let's see the this link although as as I told that uh, currently they have not shared any preparation material here uh, which is directly attached to the topics and uh, we can see that and we can learn that 
but uh, if you see this link as well here uh, you will see everything about uh, AL language right how to start how to uh, like start building how, from the concept perspective okay uh, from uh, everything like data types interfaces attributes error handling coding side you uh, your first interface everything uh, is there which you can see and start learning okay so we can consider this one as our base through which we can at least start our learning and start uh, uh, prepare uh, start preparing ourselves for this exam okay so that's uh, what i wanted to share and as i said uh, uh, i will add these links in my description section so that you can uh, directly click on them and directly read everything about whatever is mentioned in these links so guys it's a high time now or to all the developers start learning AL language and start uh, brushing up your skills and appear for the exam asap thank you so much for watching this video if you like it please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel